Yeah, I'll see what I can do. No, I understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, but I might not have a cell by then. Sent your bully boy to do your dirty work. You coward. Shut. Listen, I. Isn't this a bit ridiculous? It's supposed to be bad luck. Oh, very well. Your hair lady has arrived. We're a bit strapped for time. You're right in there. Oh, to hell with this stupid superstition. Where is he? Well, we'll just have to hope that he turns up. I need him there. It's just sound and f look, see? Right, his suit's gone. That's a good sign. Oh, if you say so. I do, and your coiffeurs awaits to make you look even more impossibly beautiful. What are you doing? You're not meant to see her yet. Go! Sorry. Out! Where's Shaq? He went out. Make sure he gets to the venue. Okay. And on time. Yeah. So now you're going to just lock me up and chuck away the key, right? She was giving me non-stop abuse, followed by an unprovoked violent assault. I had no choice. You liar. You see what I've had to deal with? Yeah, and now we've all got to deal with it. I said, get off me! Calm down, Bren. Don't tell me what to do! Get that cell door closed. I'll sue you! I told you to turn up and keep everything calm. She provoked me. What do they teach you these days? Couldn't you have nipped it in the bud? You saw what she was like. I know what she's like, and now I'm stuck with her all night. I'm sorry, Sarge. G get back to your desk, do the paperwork, and then get on with the stolen goods I told you about. Oh, 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 oh. I know my rights. You can't just... Oh. Flowers. Check. Play settings. Check. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, you look lovely. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Kick. Napkins, knives and forks. Check, check, check. I knew you'd need a bit of help, so I came early. Oh, no. Everything is in hand. Oh. Hmm. Well, shall I sort the seating out? Oh, no, it is all arranged. That one hasn't got a name card. Oh, well, uh, that one is a contingency. Oh, some are cancelled. Yeah, it is possible that uh, Shaq might not be here. Oh. And it's his mum's wedding. Right, one last time. Come in. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, the joys of technology. Oh, you don't know how welcome that is. Don't get used to it. I won't, but thanks. How's it going? You know, I think this software is powered by Steam. I've not been able to upload one single report since I came in. Well, according to the support team, it's just teething trouble. Yeah, well, that would make sense. The guy I just spoke to at IT sounded like he'd just come out of nappies. And the new trainees they keep sending us, they're not much better. Mm. Well, at least it looks like it's going to be a quiet shift. Mm. What? Unexpected visitor. <sighs> right. Oh! Uploading! OK, I'll catch up in a couple of seconds. OK. Uploading. Uploading, come on, don't rush. Oh, for goodness sake. Karen, it's me. Hello, me. You're almost done. I wish. Listen. Don't go off on one, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to make the wedding. What? You said you were going to knock off early? Yeah, that was before. Before what? Before the cells got full and we were two officers down. What am I going to tell Rumour and Heston? They'll understand. They'll have to. I mean, can't you call in a favour? I mean, that Frank... What's his face? He owes you one. I, I already have and no one's free. Uh, th there's no point throwing... Your toys out of the pram, Karen. I knew this was going to happen. Oh, very beautiful indeed. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Is um, Shag here? 
Well, uh, hardly any of the guests have arrived yet, but it is still very early. I really do think it would be wise to consider a standing. Mm. Oh, I was thinking, perhaps Sergeant Hollins. He is strong, an authoritative figure, reliable, punctual. Been a bit of a hitch. I don't think Rob is going to make it. No, it's fine. Uh, thank you. It's really kind, but Shaggy's going to be here. It's just an answer machine. Listen, why don't we split up, see if we can find him? Good idea. All right, I will make sure that everyone goes into the marriage room. Hmm? That sounds like Brent. Yeah. Arrested courtesy of our overzealous new boy, Constable Watson. Does Aisha know? She's waiting out front and been putting it off. Let someone else do it. You're at the end of your shift. I'm not. We're short stuff. You're going to miss the wedding to do a double shift with Bren? It's our lucky day. What state is she in? I've marked her down as aggressive and abusive. She's a bit hyped up, so I'm going to let her calm down before she's interviewed. Do I need to examine her? No signs of injury or drug use, so I don't think it's necessary. Unless, of course, you are keen for a catch-up. To be honest, I'd rather stick pins in my eyes. Ooh, you. leave it then. Let the sleeping dogs lie. Indeed. Hi, are we too early? Oh, no, you are commendably prompt. The champagne in the bar? Help yourself. Thank you. So, how did you escape your stalker patient? Oh, All alone in a small space with sexy young Dr. Veer, who's so gentle and caring and interested. Yeah, I, I was interested, but not in dating her. I, I did try to explain about professional boundaries. Oh, because you're such a stickler for those. Yeah, yeah, well, at least you're not a patient. Hello. Right, yeah, um, I'm, I'm on my way. Um, could you uh, just pass on my apologies? Sorry. Come in. I was making myself one, so I thought I'd... Oh, what is it? My birthday? I haven't finished the last one you brought me yet. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, anyway. Uh, is she, um, any calmer? Mm. Mm. Stupid question. How did it go with Aisha? I'm just on my way. Right. Good luck. Yeah. All right, thank you, Mr. Whitby, if you'd like to just go that way, thank you. Have you found him yet? No, he's not here. Yet. There uh, must be a suitable replacement for Shaq on this list. Problem? Uh, no, everything is fine, Dr. Shab. Uh, would you like to make yourself comfortable? Maybe we could ask one of Heston's old mates. Yes. Or does it even have to be a man? No, I'm just saying, in this day and age. Yeah. Well, look, just leave everything to me. Everything is going to go according to plan. Has anybody heard from Nestle? Hi, everyone. Everything OK? We just... Yes, we are just, uh, we are just ironing out a few minor details. OK, well, let us know if there's anything Zara can do to help. Marriage room, first left. <laughs> Thank you. Well, this place looks classier than I expected. Have you ever considered, you know... Daniel. Well, I'm just saying, maybe, maybe one day. I wouldn't want to get Joe's hopes up. He already asks far too many awkward questions. Well, why not make him happy, then? Who's saying it would make him happy? OK, it would make me happy. Are you saying that you are unhappy living in sin with me? I'm done waiting. Get someone out here to speak to me now. Open this door. You need to calm down. Oh, what? Or you won't get to see your solicitor. Better. Oh, you've cracked that stolen goods case already, have you? Not yet, Sarge. The daughter's here. She wants to see her. Yeah, I know. Ish! Dr. 
Carter, finally. Everything okay? Uh, no, yeah, unfortunately, Shaq is not here. Really? We need to find somebody else. Why can't things go right just for once? But, but, but please, I, I know it is not ideal, but perhaps we can ask your friend Monty. On our wedding day, a rumor probably won't even go through with Dr. Carter, please, I just listen. <sighs> He's in the garden. Oh, thank heavens. I think something's wrong. He hasn't said a word to me. Well, do, do you think he's going to actually come in? No idea. I'll talk to him. That you? You go and tell your mother that we are about to start. Why have I been kept waiting so long? Sorry, it's been busy. Just because Mum's got a record doesn't mean you can lock her up whenever you feel like it. Firstly, you... Don't tell me to calm down, Rob. Your mum was abusive and aggressive. I'll sue you for wrongful arrest. Don't push it, are you sure? Then don't bob me off. I've had enough. Last warning, otherwise you're going to end up in a cell next to hers. Why can't you just let her go? The sooner she calms down, the sooner she gets out of here. Oh, go on. Have a good gorp. Come on, Aisha, that's not helping anything. Bet you're loving every minute of this, aren't you? Why don't you come back in the morning? I need to see her. That's not going to happen. Please, I just want to know if she's OK. She's OK. We'll take good care of her. I won't forget this, you know. Jack. Are you coming in or what? We haven't got time for this. Your mum's really worried. I know. I know, OK? What's the matter? All right, look. I screwed up my exams. Was it that bad? I didn't even finish two other papers. And in business studies, there was this question on operational management. I just didn't understand what it meant. I mean, like, no clue whatsoever. So what did you do? Skipped it. It wasn't the only one, either. And even if my other answers were all right, there's no way I've passed. I've screwed the whole lot up. Why didn't you tell us? Well, you know, you guys were going on about the wedding all the time, and all I could think about is just that I've let Mum down. Look, it's probably not as bad as you think it is. But if it is, you can retake. I suppose. And I'll help you. You'll be fine. Thanks, Esther. So, back to today. Yeah, back to today. Sarge, got a result. Cross-referenced the stolen goods with the resellers and the same name keeps cropping up. OK. So I called the last victim. He's on his way in now so we can get a positive idea on what was stolen from him. It could lead to an arrest. Good, but we are a bit snowed under. A trail could go cold by Monday, sir. If you say so. Go on, then. What's the name of this master fence? Hanif. Rumour Hanif. What's happening? The room's got cold feet. No, no, she's here already. No, no, I had to have a problem with Shaq. Is he giving her away? No, no, I imagine so. So where is he? He won't let us down. Um, everything all right? Uh, uh, yes, yes, just give us a, a few more minutes, please. Oh, cool, sir. Only I should mention that I do have another appointment afterwards, so I can't delay too long. All right, I understand. We are going to start very soon. I can't find Shaq. Well, he was in the garden. He came in to get changed, but he's disappeared again. Mum says she won't go ahead without him. Oh, this isn't happening. Problem? No. No, not at all. Well. <clears throat> Why 
100% sure that this is your stolen item? It's been in my family for years, one of a kind and of huge sentimental value to me. It's worth a few quid too, I imagine. Presumably you've made some progress. Uh, we have a suspect. Then why haven't you arrested them? It's not quite that simple, Mr Oldershaw. There's procedure. Don't waffle at me. I'm a magistrate. I play golf with Chief Inspector Hardwick twice a week, and we've already had a chat on the phone. If you want to get on in this job, may I suggest that procedure moves rather more quickly than usual in this case? I'll see what I can do, sir. Yes, you will. And I'll have a cup of tea while I'm waiting, too. So, uh, did Shaq actually say he was coming inside? I think so. So then where is he? Look, I think we may have to ask Dr. Carter's friend. No, I... I only want... Shaq! Oh. Sorry, I needed a slash. Right. What? Are we ready? Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. You done with the interview? Yep. Mr Oldershaw's ID is cast iron on that clock. I want this woman arrested. <sighs> Mr Oldershaw, it just so happens that I know this woman. She's a midwife at St Phil's and there has to be some kind of mistake. There's no way she could be involved. She'll need to prove that. Trust me. Her name comes up six times, Sarge. Let's just hold fire until... Until what? She's not above the law just because you happen to know her. At this very moment, she's just about to get married at Hazeldean Hall. I just can't... You most certainly can. I told you, I am running late already. Just give me a minute. It's custody. I'm warning you, officer. <laughs> Yes, I, I, no, not you. I'll get round to it. I'll call you back in a minute. Constable... Constable Watson! It is all very straightforward. Yep, got it. It's just walking. <laughs> yeah, even you could have messed that one up. So, the registrar says it's now or never. <sighs> this now? <laughs> Rob? Don't talk, just listen. Now, you're not going to believe this, but there is a Constable Watson on his way over to you now to arrest Boomer. <laughs> Very funny. I wish it was a joke, but I'm being deadly serious. There's been some massive mix-up over some stolen goods. But it's out of my hands, there's nothing I can do. Well, well um, I just even know where she is. <clears throat> Hang on a minute, what am I supposed to do about it? I don't know, but I thought I'd better tell you. Rob! Love, I've, I've got to go. OK, bye. No, no! <sighs> is everything all right? No, not really. What is it? Uh, Rob's just told me that the police are on their way to a rest room. Huh? What? What? But, but surely this must be a mistake. What's she done? I, I don't know, something to do with stolen goods. What sort of stolen goods? I don't know. Oh, we're talking paintings, jewellery. I didn't ask. Roma doesn't look like a fence. But then what do fences look like? How long do we have? We're on the way now. Well, maybe, maybe we can. Can you go outside and stop the police? Right, I will stay in here and try to create a diversion. And I'll hurry the registrar up. Dr. Carter and Sister Hanif will leave this building married. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Go. <laughs> Oh, oh, thank goodness you're here. C follow me. Sorry? I'm the manager's terrible. What is The, the guy who went this way. Who? He stole my handbag. Wait, wait, did you say you were the manager? Right, I don't know what you think you did or didn't see, but I'm here in police business. No, 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 wait. Um, he's armed and extremely dangerous. Armed? No, no, you can't come in and tell well, the Get out of my way and I'll arrest you. Oh. 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 Finally. I was beginning to wonder. Yeah, you weren't alone. Oh, she looks fantastic.
to witness this ceremony. We are here to witness love. Sealing an unbreakable bond between Heston and Rumour. bond of strength and commitment that we hope will bind them together for the rest of their lives. He's coming round the back! <laughs> Do I need to get in that door, please? I am so sorry, officer, but there is a wedding in progress. To have and to hold, to love and to cherish, through good health and bad. This is official police business. Stand aside. Oh, officer, please. Just think about this. If you interrupt them, now you will be ruining two people's special day. Then let alone destroying two people's lives forever. I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment why I, Heston Bradford Carter, may not be joined in marriage to rumour Anna Hanif. Please, if you, if you go now, you will destroy it forever. Please, please, officer, if, if you can find it in your heart, just, just to wait one more minute. He's very rude. Where's the key? And I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment why I, rumour Anna Hanif, may not be joined in marriage to you, Heston Bradford Carter. Hi. Surely you would not go against God's will. I'd rather that than the inspectors. Oh, you should be ashamed to wear the uniform, you do be my ready boy. Sorry. It's just Mrs. Tembe dealing with someone. Ignore it. Carry on. I, Heston Bradford Carter, take you, Ruma Anna Hanif, to be my wedded wife. What was going on? I've got no idea. Give it to me. Go. Be. Oh, don't push it. She will bite. I will arrest you for obstruction. Brent! Brent! And uh, do you take him to be your husband? Say it. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yes. I, yeah. I do. I'm pleased to declare you man and. Rumor Hanif. Oh, wife. Come on, Bren. Come on, Bren. I just found her here. She's not breathing. There's no pulse. How long have you been doing CPR? A few minutes. I, I, I mean, one minute she was asleep. Right, I need the defibrillator. You can call the ambulance. Come on. Bruma Hanif, I'm arresting you on suspicion of receiving or handling stolen goods. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. Are you insane? No, I, I don't understand. Is sir. this some kind of sick joke? It may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. You can't do this. Sorry, I want your name, rank and number. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Let go of my wife! Obstructing a police officer is an offence. Trust me, I'll arrest you too if necessary. Just don't, please. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. No, I understand. Mm hmm. Ah, yeah. You can't do this! You need to oh, no. calm down or someone's gonna get hurt. Oh, so they're threatening me! Well, I'm warning you! I want to breathe, get your dirty hands off me! All right, but I might not have a sell by then. Sent your bully boy to do your dirty work, you coward. Listen, I... Rumour! 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 Don't come in. Isn't this a bit ridiculous? It's supposed to be bad luck. Oh, very well. 
your hair lady has arrived. We're a bit strapped for time. You are right in there? Oh, to hell with this stupid superstition. Where is he? Well, we'll just have to hope that he turns up. I need him there. It's just sound and... F Look, see? Right, his suit's gone. That's a good sign. Oh, if you say so. I do, and your coiffeurs awaits to make you look even more impossibly beautiful. What are you doing? You're not meant to see her yet? Go! Sorry. Out! Where's Shank? He went out. Make sure he gets to the venue. OK. And on time. Yeah. So now you're going to just lock me up and chuck away the key, right? She was giving me non-stop abuse, followed by an unprovoked violent assault. I had no choice. 